In this lesson, we're going to learn about division rules, or the rules of division. Division rules can help you decide with one or zero as to what you're going to do with ones or zeros. So let's take a look. Our first rule is this. You cannot divide by zero. You just cannot do it. You cannot divide by zero. Can't divide by zero. Take a moment to copy it down for yourself. Three divided by zero. You cannot do it. You can't divide by zero. Eight divided by zero. Mm -mm -mm. You cannot do it. You can't do it. So if you come up with a problem and it just says 8 divided by 0 equals blank, at that point you have to write, I can't do it. You cannot divide by 0. You write down, can't divide by 0. Just write it out, can't divide by 0. This is one of the rules of division. Now, in this case, though, 0 divided by 5, you can do that. 0 divided into 5 parts is still 0. Zero divided by 6 does equal 0. 0 divided by 3 equals 0. And what we call this, we call this... When you divide 0 by a number other than 0, the quotient is 0. So it might help us to name these different parts. This is the quotient of our division problem. Go ahead and copy one of these down, or write down one of your own, and label the parts, please. We're the parts of our division problem. We've got a divisor. This is the number of parts that we are dividing the dividend into. Zero, in this case, is our dividend. Zero divided by three equals zero. Our dividend, divisor, and quotient. Take a moment to write it down. Pause if you need to. There's that division rule for you. Go ahead and copy that down next to the equation that you had written. Dividing zero by any number other than zero because remember, you can't divide by zero. Zero divided by seven is zero. Zero is equal to zero divided by anything, like nine. Those would be examples of this rule. When you divide zero by a number other than zero, the quotient is zero. Here's another rule. When you divide a number, let's say 32, and you divide that number by one, remember 32 was our dividend, and 1 was our divisor, the quotient, which is the answer to our division problem, is still going to be the same number as that dividend. 32 divided by 1 is 32. So another example, write down another example for yourself while I change up colors here. Let's see, if I had 9, and I write equals, it's 9 divided by 1. Don't get caught. You can't write this. 9 equals 1 divided by 9. We would be dividing 1 into 9 parts. That would not work out. 1 ninth does not equal 9. The order matters. That's why we have these terms here. The dividend, divide a number. We've got our dividend there, and we got our quotient. It's the same number as the dividend. We've got that quotient right there as well. One final property, one final property, when you divide a number by itself, the quotient is 1. When you divide a number, say, 7 by itself, 7 divided by 7 is equal to 1. I'll write it horizontally again. 8 divided by 8 is equal to 1. 9 divided by what equals 1? 9 divided by 9 equals 1. And then so... I'll write down one last example. 6 divided by 6 equals 
1. And so all this is the same rule. Let me go ahead and type up that rule for you. You hit pause, copy it down. Jot down some examples for yourself. There you go. When you divide a number by itself, the quotient is 1. And it's true for all numbers except 0 because you remember you can't divide by 0. You cannot write 0 divided by 0 equals 1. That just does not work because you cannot have 0 as a divisor. You can't have 0 as a divisor. You cannot divide by 0. Hit pause, copy it down. Take a moment to copy these down. The instructions are as follows. Use those rules to solve. If there's no ex solution, explain why. If there's no solution, explain why. Use those rules to help you solve. You don't need to list out the rules, but use them to help you solve, to fill in that blank. Hit pause, copy it down, I'll be right back with you. Ideally, you copy down the whole equation when you were solving these. That way you can just glance at your paper to know that you wrote them down correctly, that you knew how to use these division rules. 10 divided by 1 equals 10. 3 divided by 1 equals 3. 9 divided by 0 is... Uh-oh, can't do it. You cannot divide by 0. You can't do it. That's your answer there. 0 divided by 6. You can do this because the divisor is not 0. 0 divided by 6 is 0. The one that I didn't show you is 6 divided by what? Write down this for yourself. 6 divided by what equals 1? 6 divided by what equals 1? 6 divided by 6 equals 1. Good job. Again, remember, there is a difference between this here. You can't do that. You can't do that. There's a difference between that there and this here. You can do that. 0 divided by 5 is still 0. Where you can have 0 as a dividend, but you can't have 0 as a divisor. Can't have 0 as a divisor. I'm going to go ahead and write down one last thing for you. If we had 32 divided by 8 equaling 4, what are those different parts? What are those different parts? I'm going to show it to you in a different way here. What are those different parts? What are those different parts called? This part right here, 32 is the dividend. 4 is our quotient or the answer to a division problem. And 8 is our divisor. It's what it is that we are dividing by. Dividend again. And 8 is our divisor. Answer to our division problem is the quotient. Can you divide by 0? No. Can you divide 0 by any number? Yes. What do you get? 0. Remember your division rules? And if you don't, Rewind the video, watch it again, keep practicing them.